Betelgeuse is a red giant star. If it replaced the sun, it'd stretch all the way out to Jupiter's orbit. It's gigantic, super unstable, and about to blow up. When it does, these explosions are some of the biggest radio blasts out there, creating way more energy than a billion suns. So, are you ready for what's coming? This huge red star, one of Earth's close star neighbors, has dimmed a lot recently, which has everyone talking. Some think this dimming could mean it's about to go supernova, a massive explosion that happens when a star runs out of fuel. That's got scientists and everyone else wondering what it could mean for us here on Earth. Betelgeuse is easy to spot in the Orion constellation at night. It's also called Alpha Orionis, and it's the brightest star in that group. NASA's Hubble Space Telescope and other places have seen that Betelgeuse shot out a bunch of stuff in 2019. Stars like it don't usually do that, so scientists are watching to learn more. Our sun burps stuff out all the time, but Betelgeuse's weird event makes us think more about how big stars live and die. How far away is Betelgeuse? That's up for debate. Some say it's far, some say it's closer, around 724 light years from Earth. It's hard to nail down the exact distance to these red supergiant stars because they're so far away and act weird. Betelgeuse is one of the brightest stars we can see. It shines about 100,000 times brighter than the sun. But that brightness comes at a cost. It burns through its fuel super fast, which means it'll die sooner. Eventually, it'll run out of fuel and collapse, possibly turning into a neutron star or even a black hole after a supernova. If our theories are right, could Betelgeuse be a danger to Earth? If a supernova happened close by, like a few light years away, it could be bad news. The explosion could release a crazy amount of light, as bright as a whole galaxy. So, even if Betelgeuse is as far as Alpha Centauri, a supernova could still mess things up. It's been a while since we saw a supernova in our own galaxy, since 1604. But there was a cool one in 1987 in a galaxy 169,000 light years away. It didn't hurt us, but it showed us how big these things can be. Supernovas have a danger zone around them that could really hurt planets. But remember, even close supernovas are small compared to gamma bursts, which are way more powerful and scary. Supernovas can wipe out life and blast planets with radiation. Some can even destroy a planet's ozone layer, leaving it open to harsh sunlight for ages. A recent study showed there are even more possible dangers linked to stars that blow up in a big way. When giant stars go boom, they're some of the brightest things in the universe. A single supernova can outshine billions of stars. So, what if Betelgeuse blew? If it went supernova, it'd be the second brightest thing in our sky, after the sun. Even though it's far away, it'd shine brighter than the full moon and be visible during the day. The explosion would be so bright it'd cast shadows at night. It'd be amazing but also a little scary, showing how powerful space can be. The bright light from a supernova is cool, but it's not the whole story. Most of the energy is released as high-energy radiation like X-rays and gamma rays. That's what's really worrying. This radiation can mess up our ozone layer, which protects us from the sun's harmful rays. Without it, we'd get blasted with ultraviolet radiation, which could cause a mass extinction. Right after a supernova, there are a bunch of dangers. The radiation is the first thing to worry about. Then, cosmic rays, tiny particles moving super fast, start hitting the solar system. These can also destroy the ozone layer and cover Earth in radiation. They carry a lot of energy and can stick around for hundreds of years. There's proof that this has happened before. We've found radioactive stuff from supernovas in ocean dirt and on the moon. That means Earth was hit by supernova stuff not too long ago, maybe in the last few million years. Scientists used to think that there weren't any supernova candidates close enough to hurt us with gamma rays and cosmic rays. But now, studies show that some types of supernovas can send out deadly radiation over long distances. Here's how it works. When a star is about to die, it can be surrounded by a cloud of stuff. When the supernova happens, it sends out a shock wave that hits this cloud and makes it super hot. Then, the cloud shoots out a ton of high-energy x-rays that can travel really far. 
These X-ray supernovas could wipe out half of a planet's ozone layer from 150 light years away, causing a big extinction. Luckily, we don't know of any X-ray supernova candidates near Earth yet. But this research has made us rethink the galactic habitable zone, where life could exist in galaxies. It turns out that the outer parts of a galaxy don't have enough star-making to create rocky planets. And the inner parts have too many supernovas, which make it too dangerous for life. So, the safe zone is probably farther out than we thought. So, what will a Betelgeuse supernova look like from Earth? Don't worry, it probably won't hurt us. But it will be quite a show. Experts say it'll keep shining super bright for over three months, reaching about half the brightness of the moon, though dimmer than a full moon. It'll look like a bright in the sky, even during the day. It'll be so bright it'll cast shadows at night. Everyone on Earth will be watching as it slowly fades away over a few years. As scientists keep studying Betelgeuse, they're learning more about how big stars live and die. This helps us understand how our galaxy changes and how elements are made. Supernovas don't just make light, they also create heavy elements like gold, silver, and uranium in the intense heat of the explosion. This is called nucleosynthesis, and it spreads the ingredients for new stars and planets across space. Also, the leftover stuff from a supernova can become a stellar nursery, where new stars are born. This shows how space events are connected, with the death of one star leading to the birth of others. Scientists have found supernova leftovers that are still forming new stars millions of years after the explosion. Another cool thing about supernovas is that they can help us measure distances in space. Type IA supernovas, explosions of white dwarf stars, always reach the same brightness, so we can use them as standard candles to figure out how far away things are. This has helped us learn about how the universe is expanding and discover dark energy, which is making it expand faster. Studying supernovas can also tell us if planets orbiting other stars could support life. Scientists are looking at how the radiation from these explosions might affect those planets' atmospheres and if life could survive. This shows how important it is to understand the conditions that allow life to exist in the universe. What about how people might react to seeing a supernova nearby? Throughout history, supernovas have inspired stories, myths, and art. The explosion of a star isn't just a science thing, it's a big deal in human culture, representing change, destruction, and rebirth. In the past, people saw new stars as signs or messages from the universe. New tech has also changed how we study supernovas. Space telescopes can take amazing pictures and analyze the light from these events. Ground-based observatories help us monitor them in real time. 